Lights, camera, nerdles. Hi, my name is Rhiannon Moore, and I'm the Coastal Average Specialist for the Lake Huron Center for Coastal Conservation. This video, I'm going to show you how to sift for nurdles. Nurdles are small plastic pellets about the size of a lentil. Billions are used each year to make nearly all of the plastic products we use each day. You are probably wondering why I'm showing you a video about nurdles on beaches and how they even get there in the first place. But believe it or not, they're common sight along beaches and in the Great Lakes and even along our oceans. And they end up in these natural places by spilling into waterways, during transport, by ships, and believe it or not, even trains. A really effective and inexpensive way to clean up nurdles is to plip. Let's try that again. The first thing you will need is a basic kitchen splatter guard or other metal screen shown here to sift the nurdles out of the sand. Scoop the surface layer of the sand onto your screen and start shake a shake a shaking. Using these screens can be really helpful in areas where you can see a lot of nurdles or smaller plastics. Then, of course, you want to pour the nurdles into a bag, a bucket, or a jar. I usually keep them for educational purposes and use them as props, but you can either dispose of them properly in the landfill or find creative ways to use them, like perhaps creating Beanie Babies. I'm still working on this idea, of course. We want to clean nurdles and other small pieces of plastic up from shorelines because they can harm wildlife. As you can see, they look a lot like little eggs and animals such as turtles, fish, and birds can mistake them for food. And that makes me sad. So do your part to reduce your plastic consumption and join in on shoreline cleanups when you can. You can also donate to us and maybe our next plastics video will be the next blockbuster.